never believe your eyes when deep fakes spread their lies. Deep fakes appear to be improving, you know, they're the video and audio clips made using AI tools to mimic the voice and or the likeness of pretty much anyone you want. For example, you could sway an election with a deep fake of Biden making sense. <laughs> Just this week, a deep fake of Liz Warren depicted her saying Republicans shouldn't be allowed to vote. Nice try, though. The real Liz Warren would have had feathers and beads. <laughs> Still, people fell for it. Here are some other famous examples. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data. Listen up, sports and TikTok fans. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till it's coming next. That didn't look at all like Costner. So now, now it's going to be even harder to trust the news or anything, really, because what looks real could now be completely fake. I mean, you can be tricked into believing that I'm short. <laughs> but maybe this is good. Now you're always skeptical. Now you're always distrustful. And that's not a bad perspective to have. Face it. The media is already less trusted than Andrew Cuomo at a nursing home. They've been forcing deep fakes on us for decades. The P tape with Trump, Hunter's laptop isn't real, Russia Gate, the popularity of Maroon 5, the food pyramid, Biden running for president, Ellen DeGeneres being friendly, <laughs> transitory inflation, Steve Ducey's thigh curl record. All lies. So maybe we shouldn't believe our eyes and ears anymore or at all. For example, here are some deep fakes that I can't tell are real or fake. Hello, I'm Brian Kilmeade. Everything Greg says about me is true. I'm awkward, smelly, and my books are terrible. I carry a backpack because I like to pretend I'm a high school freshman. All of my friends only pretend to like me because they feel sorry for me. My only wish is that I could be more like Greg Gutfeld. Wow, that sounded pretty accurate to me. Do we have another? Jesse Waters here. My outward appearance of confidence is a fraud. Deep down, I'm scared I'm not half the man Greg is, personally or professionally. That's why I hide behind hair transplants, cologne, and pants that are too tight. Money helps, though. That's why I'm plotting a Ponzi scheme. Ah, wow, one more. Do we have one more? Hey, it's Dana. The truth is, I hate dogs. I've always been more of a cat person. Also, I once robbed a casino when I was 16, and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You know your girl's got to get that money. Dollar bills, y'all. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Chris, do you think this is going to go beyond just pure entertainment value? Deepfakes? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, thousand percent. First of all, there's not a guy out there right now that should ever get caught cheating on his wife again. He'll be like, baby, it was a deep fake. <laughs> yes. It's a deep fake. <laughs> so I would, uh, I think that this is going to get bad. And uh, I want to say congratulations to Dave Rubin. He just had a third kid in the commercial break. <laughs> so here we go. Congrats, buddy. It works science. It's incredible. Yeah. That isn't science. It's Satanism. You know, I was thinking with this deep fake thing, what if you, sitting in front of me right now, what if you yourself are a deep fake? For example, what if you are actually Jimmy Kimmel mm. wanting to be on the number one show in late night television? I should hire I thought that joke was going to do better. Yeah. That, that, that really... I knew where you were going with that. I was being too nice. Yeah, it was being nice. I, I like that. I like the spiteful Dave Rubin better. I like. I, yeah, gosh. Yeah. All right, last time I'm doing I like, this. I like Miami Dave. <laughs> Pyrus, are you worried? Uh, what you're seeing is the watered down version of this. This has been around for a while. Uh, and it's uh, the, the level of cameras have gotten to the point where all you really need is just a segment of somebody and you can chop and cut and change everything they're saying. So we're not seeing it yet, but you'll start seeing videos about, uh, once it becomes political or someone's able to use it to be foolproof, you'll 1000% see it. The good news is, is that people will, will stop putting so much faith into videos, clips of videos, seeing the last three seconds of something, and all of a sudden that explains the whole story. Mm -hmm. So people actually have to start looking at things because the longer the video, the harder it is to manipulate. Yeah. So now you'll start, when people actually have to watch something, they'll have to see it in its entirety. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be amazed what you actually might see when you get with a lot of the things that were programmed to react to with videos. Cat, mm -hmm. everybody's gonna end up like you. They're gonna like, can't where they won't trust anything. You'll have to verify it before you buy it. That's not bad. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> So, there already are deep fakes of me on the internet. Yes. I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was really fun to explain to my 70-year-old aunt. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, no, that girl has <laughs> uh, <laughs> That wasn't me doing that. Uh, so that's disturbing. It's like yeah. deeply disturbing. When it comes to the ones, and look, as everybody's gonna stop watching and go Google the you sick. <laughs> um, we have that problem with real videos though already. Yeah. Like people will just take it, a segment of something you said, and this has happened to me countless times as to you and other people, and then someone will tweet it saying you were talking about something completely different. Right. And nobody bothers to check. So we're already at a place where people need to verify things. So and they don't. So will they verify this? I don't really know. Have you ever been tricked by anything? I can say that. I, I I mean I go back to like even the I would say even like the Covington kids thing. Even it was not a deep fake, but the way it was edited, as what Cat was saying, was right. a deep fake. I'm trying to think if any of these any of these last fakeries got me. No, I don't know that anything really got me. I love it when people really? send me one and I get to tell them it's fake. Makes me feel so smart. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's fake. And then they go, really? I do that to Jesse a lot because he falls for it. So much stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he needs, they need to, like, check his computer and see what he looks at. It's really gross. All right. I think we should go to commercial. Yes. Up next, should the NFL get sacked for clips of women who are sacked? <laughs>